All right, guys, it's uh, road check week, CVSA road check week. Um, I know some of you guys probably take off because you don't want to deal with the BS of this stuff. Um, I'm just going to do a quick thing of what they're going to be looking for this year. Uh, the focus is wheel ends. Uh, that's going to consist of wheel nuts, tire pressures, wheel bearings, wheel seals, um, tie rod ends. We'll be looking at brakes. Um, probably ABS stuff as well as would be my guess. So you want to make sure that that sensor at the back of the trailer here, you know, the ABS light is all, it's all wired up. Which actually, mine lights up. It was lighting up last night, but it's got no cover on the end. So I've got to get that, got to get that taken care of. I just hooked to this trailer. Late last night, I haven't moved yet, so I haven't actually pre-tripped it yet. So, um, I was just gonna do a quick walkthrough of what I'm gonna be looking for as we do this. So, give me a second here, and uh, we'll get this camera shown around, and we'll, uh, we'll get started. Okay, so I always start at the trailer. Uh, on this particular trailer, first thing I'm gonna look for is oil leaks. I don't see any oil leaks on here. I'd like to check my hub oil and see here, it's at the full line, so we're good there. We don't have tire pressures to check. We've got these auto inflate systems, which I freaking love. Um, check our wheel nuts. Everything is good. There is a lot of rust on the hub, but nothing. It's all, it's all just surface rust. Um, we then move in. This tire has got a bunch of, I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like, uh, it's, it's parking lot's being repaved. It looks like just tar on the edge here. Um, Obviously, go through, we're gonna check, make sure there's nothing in between the wheels. Again, I'm just visually checking the tires, making sure there's nothing odd here. And then going further inside, excuse me here, and we're gonna look at the brakes. There is plenty of meat on the brakes here, as we can see. Um, we're then also looking at the wheel seal. Um, this side might be easier to see, there's no wheel, coming from the wheel seals, which are just up here, uh, and that's what holds all the oil in at the bearings. Um, we're looking at our brakes. I can feel the pins here. Um, so everything is in place, and we just go through, do that on all of the brake chambers and stuff, and I do not see anything here. There's nothing really chafing. You know, we wanna make sure our hoses aren't chafing. They're all in there little sleeve protector things here. So, I'm, ha I'm happy with that. Uh, everything's where it should be. And then let's go up to the front. As we make our way up to the front here, it's the same on the on the drives. We're looking for the same stuff as we are on the trailer. Uh, we do look for, uh, on like the drive line, we'll check the drive line as well. But on the front here, it's just a little bit easier to see. We're just looking once again, any oil leaks anything rubbing on the inside these disc brakes i really don't know what the correct way to check them is uh, visually they're very hard to see uh, the actual meat on the pad so you know when you get your, your wheels rotated and stuff um, that would be the time to you know, make sure we've got plenty of meat on there you know, checking our airline hoses checking all of our, our joints here Make sure we've got all our pins in here. Um, this is everything that these, see this one's a little rusty. It's just surface rust, but I would probably next time I'm in, I'll probably have them replace that, that's just me. One thing I did see though, this morning, up uh, here, you can see that, it's a little damp by that injector. So, I'm, I don't know if that, I literally just got in this truck a couple of days ago. So we are gonna uh, keep an eye on that. I don't know if that's from an old repair, what I'll probably do it today get a uh, get a uh, an engine wash and just keep an eye on it for the next day or two and then just see but it's the same on the other side uh, obviously we want to check our lights as well uh, make sure your markers are working which I've got them on they are you know, I think that's pretty obvious stuff so once again just checking inside of the wheel making sure we've got all of our like uh, I think they call them nervous pins I believe is what they call them Steering components in place. Uh, once again, wheel nuts. One thing that I was told, if you actually look right here, right in the middle is a tiny pinprick hole. This actually needs to breathe. 
So, I don't know if you ever see that we get like a little bit of oil residue around the outside just by this seal. If you actually pierce that little hole with like a, a paper clip, it just allows it to breathe and it will stop stop the uh, the oil being pushed out and just you know relieve some of the pressure from getting warm and stuff. So that's one little tip there, just a tiny little hole, like a, a you know a little sewing needle, a little paper clip. Just keep that hole clean. And it just allows the whole thing to breathe. So again, we're checking oil level. Of how well it's going to show up here, but there is oil in here. And it's at the line, so we are good there. Make sure you put them back in correctly. Give them a push. Wheel nuts. I checked the tire pressures already. These are at 120 up the front, 100s on the drives, and then the trailer auto inflates. So. I know this is a little choppy this morning, um, but uh, I just wanted to do a quick walk around just of what we're going to be looking for, or what the DOT are going to be looking for during uh, safety week. So, but anyway, I'm going to get off here, I'm going to go and uh, get rolling, and uh, I hope you find something useful out of this, guys. So, you guys enjoy.